Hi guys, sorry for the long period of inactivity. Um, I was busy with my grad school. I'm back now, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about books and reading because you all know I'm a bookworm. I love reading so much. I read anything and everything, whether it's physical books or ebook. Or random Wikipedia pages, or soap labels, or just fan fictions. Mostly fan fictions because I read fan fictions every day on my phone. <laughs> But that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is reading is great for all of us. It's such a joyful and immersive experience, and I want to encourage every one of you to read more. So I'm gonna share some beginner. Reading tips with you guys. So, reading is great for all of us. Like, that's what everyone says. But not every one of us vibe with books. But I guess that's the biggest reason vibing with books. And I think that the biggest break the ice moment when it comes to starting to read books would be finding a personal reason. For reading books, I mean, it's cool to think about the noble reasons, such as improving our critical thinking skill or improving our mental health and mental capacity or whatever. But if you don't have something personal and something passionate, you're not going to be able to enjoy books, enjoy readings as much as you can. So you can just find any sort of reason. It could be like you wanting to. Challenge yourself to finish a book, or just keeping up with the trend. It doesn't have to be anything grand. Like me personally, I started to read books because I was bored. Like legit, I was bored. Can I be coming? Um, you must have been by Lopez Lolling. You mean the Kanji? I didn't read move on. I didn't read move on. Ah, read what again? Like you can't fight all the time. That shit is tiring. So. The only thing we could do is turn to books because we had lots of books. We still have lots of books because our dad is the OG bookworm of the household, and so he's like, I might as well read books because we have lots of them, and that's how I became a bookworm. Boredom. <laughs> It's a, it wasn't anything grand, okay. And uh, um, besides, like having a personal reason, um, another one would be finding the right medium. Of reading, like, um, and the pal time, like, like, and the pal, as in, like, you know, like, book books, the pal, the pal, or, um, and that e-reader, like, Kindle, or just your phone. Where's my phone? <laughs> oh, I'm recording with my phone. I'm sorry. That was dumb of me. Sorry. <laughs> But you know, like, the right medium: books, Kindles, or just phone. Me personally, I like books, like physical books. It's just book smells amazing. It just smells divine, and the texture of the pages under your fingertips when you touch them, and like how the spines kind of crack when you open them, and like. Oh, it's just such an amazing experience. Okay, it's just so immersive. It's it's just an amazing feeling. Okay, <laughs> but you know, it's like I said, finding the right medium is important. Like me, I'm super into reading physical books, so I mostly only read physical books. But I'm I'm like steering towards ebooks a lot now. But I I don't recommend new readers to jump in to ebooks right away because let's be honest, Kindles are hell expensive. And two, the experience of reading books physically is just physical books are amazing. You guys just start out with physical books. <laughs> Besides, the medium would be having a schedule. 
before you have a habit of doing something you have to do it repeatedly so i think in order to push yourself into reading more you have to have a schedule whether it's reading before bed or just reading every weekend or just reading whenever possible because i know lots of you guys are super busy with school or with work so when you're bored just try to reach towards your book it's going to cultivate a habit of reading in you guys and another important tip would be to engage more with the article so you will have long-term memory of what you're reading and it's going to help you guys when it comes to doing school works because when you engage with your reading you're basically learning from what you read so you're learning new words new ideas you should underline them you should highlight them you should take notes of them and on the topic of taking notes i just want to remind you guys that you should have a vocab book um it's just to write down new words or new idioms or just write down sentence structures to better understand grammars especially for us language learners um i did that a lot when i was a kid and that was how i became better at understanding grammar and having a wider range of vocabularies to use i still do it now because i'm studying japanese but i'm not as active it's like um, here it's not as extensive because i don't really read japanese much i only read the textbooks another thing about notes is cultivating a habit of writing outlines or writing summaries of things that you've read especially books um it's just a personal preference i understand if you don't want to do it because it's super tiring even i'm tired and i love note taking i just like the idea of consolidating things into a notebook that i can easily access in the future it's like it's really convenient to have everything together it's like um let me just show you guys something here like this you know plus some books are really expensive i can't afford them so i borrow them from the lab and from the library and i just write down things that i think are important so that when i do my thesis proposal or do my writing assignments i can have easy access to a handy reference that i already understand um i've like i've only read like 11 12 books for the past year <laughs> it's not a lot <laughs> another very very important thing to keep in mind is to be very conscious of what you choose to read you have to be conscious of what you're putting in here basically what i'm saying is don't read shitty books because you are what you eat and that is especially applicable to your literature because you and your way of thinking are shaped by the media you consume so you have to make an effort to choose quality novels quality poems quality journals to read so that you're only inputting good stuff in here so that you can develop yourself that you can learn more and learn from your past mistake you know just try not to read shitty books okay anyways um that's all i have for you guys today and um if you want books recommendations or just fanfics recommendations you can always dm me i'm happy to help you guys on your reading journey okay and maybe you guys can recommend me some good books too like because i don't have any new books to read now i'm in need of new books <laughs> bye guys <laughs>